Hello and welcome to Business Reporter. I'm Rachel Hicks. Those who regularly read the news know that the future of the planet is a headliner every week. Climate change, waste management, the plastic in our seas are the most trending topics. Dovetailing them, the most common subject is the responsibility and powers of companies who bring a change. We hear a lot about how facility managers and commercial property managers could code environment-friendly solutions into the DNA of their buildings, such as effective recycling systems. Recycling is often perceived as confusing, time-consuming and costly. But with us today to explain more is Matthew Fletcher from Method Recycling. He's going to tell us what his bins can do for us and our business and the environment. Matt, hi, hello, thank you for coming in. It's a pleasure. Now, what sparked the start of Method Recycling? Why did you begin? Our two co-founders, Stephen India Corner, identified and saw a real an area within the waste management sector where design could have a, a significant impact. Through improving and raising the, the standard and aesthetics of, of the humble bin, um, they've been able to bring about change in people's behaviour to divert more waste from landfill and also to help companies and organisations bottom bottom lines. What are the challenges to implementing an effective recycling system at work or in your workplace? There's some inconsistency around, around the waste streams and we try to make that as simple as possible for building owners and waste management firms and facilities managers going forward. It's really important for, for companies and businesses to understand how their waste is, is processed when it's taken from the site. That gives us really the power and information to put in place the correct waste streams to service their, their sites. By putting in the, in the correct streams, we're able to, to reduce the contamination within, within the products and, and also lead to better recycling rates going forward. So how do your bins encourage a, a change in behaviour and maybe even improve the recycling rate in, in an office or a workplace? The bins themselves are designed to be out in the open with an with open plan recycling philosophy. They're designed to be to cater for, for between 30 and 50 people within, within an office environment. So by doing that and having the communal bins, people are actually moving consciously towards the bins in order to, to recycle properly. Having them out in the open brings about much more, much more opportunity to have deep and involved conversations about recycling and waste in general, really. A visible difference for for companies as well in terms of their their corporate social responsibility CSR um, going forwards is is really important and certainly as we move to a system where waste is is reported and audited it's going to become more and more important for companies to to look at systems like this and have you seen an increase in recycling rate as a result of your bins being in workplaces we have very much so yeah um, one large case in in, in particular works with a, a, a an overseas airline um, who, when they moved to the method recycling system, went from a, a percentage recycling rate of around about 30% up to 75% recycling. So certainly it can be effective. Um, it is something that needs to be encouraged within a culture. It can be quite a change, but certainly we've got the resources and systems in place behind behind the product to assist the facilities managers and building owners to be able to do that successfully. So let's talk about numbers then. How many bins would we need in a, in a workspace and, and what sort of size are they? Okay. The, the size of the bins is, is designed to be 60 litres. So it's a flex, flexible system where different streams can be added depending on the volume of waste in particular areas. The bins themselves, when they're in the open plan environment, we encourage them really as a, as a guide between about 30 to 50 people to cater for. That again depends on the amount of waste that's, that's generated, but also the frequency that that they're, they're emptied and serviced. One key metric which, which we do like to use is to make sure that the, the bins and, and stations themselves are a maximum of 10 seconds away from the general staff so that it is easy for, for staff to engage with. And to, are we, to are we that properly. lazy that if it's more than 10 <laughs> seconds away, we're not going to make the effort? Have you done measurements on we, this? We have, yes, yeah. I, I would really? love, to, love to say, um, say not, but um, yes, yeah, certainly, 
it, when we're putting the system in place, we, we find that achieves the, the best results, definitely. That's um, the golden number, 10 golden seconds. Number. I like that. Okay. Now, you're, the, the, the method for philosophy is um, open plan recycling. How does that help facility managers? That happens in, in a number of ways. One of the points that we've already discussed is, is the raising awareness. So that actually has an effect on the, the amount of contamination that, that happens leaving the site when the waste goes off to be processed. So we see a huge reduction in, in contamination of waste. Secondly, we by encouraging and moving to a system such as, such as methods open plan recycling, you're able to reduce the amount of bins and, and service time for that within, within the site. So companies who are moving from desk bins um, to a standard open plan system save a considerable time in terms of cleaner servicing, liners, the efficiency for it. So again, that leads to a knock-on effect on, on the bottom line of, for the company. Method are very design-based. What difference do you think that makes? And why, why have you centred on design so much? A huge difference. It is, it is a real core for our, for our business and our company. From the outset, design has been one of the, one of the key drivers for us in order to be able to, to raise the, both the form and function of, of the humble bin. Is that because we like, we like the look of it, so we're going to go and use it more? Yes, so modern facilities now are designed. There's an awful lot of thinking that goes into the design and fit outs of, of our spaces. And to be honest, the, the bin was one of the products that had been left behind. It was potentially a bit of an afterthought. So with it, we want to really bring it into that line of thinking so that it, it forms a core part of, of the building function and structure. So people are engaging with it and it, it actually raises the efficiency of the waste building, waste process within the building itself. And will your bins suit any environment? They certainly do. We've had bins and products specified to into a whole range of environments, from, from stadiums to small office spaces to, to large corporate spaces as well. The system that we've applied certainly certainly does, does fit that and it, it can bring huge benefits to the spaces as well. So what's next for Method and how are you going to keep helping FMs? As I've mentioned, design really forms a key part of, of methods and our, and our philosophy. We've got a, a, an R&D department in-house alongside our green team who, have, who are certainly busy working on things in the pipeline. And yeah, we're, we're excited about the future and looking forward to, to assist in making workplaces more connected. Matt Fletcher from Method Recycling, thank you for coming in today. Thanks.